Today I'm going to show you how to make a circuit using aluminum wire conductors. The materials you will need for this project are one long aluminum wire, two short aluminum wires, five pieces of electrical tape, one three volt coin cell battery, an LED, and a metal fastener. The first things you will need are the long aluminum wire, one short aluminum wire, and your LED. Line up your LED so the long lead is open and the short lead is open just a little bit. Be careful because they can break if you're not very, very gentle. Line up the long lead next to the long wire. Then line the short lead up with a short wire. The long lead and long wire will make your positive side of your circuit. The short lead and short wire will make the negative side of your circuit. The next step in creating your circuit is attaching your LED to your long lead, your long aluminum conductor. The first thing you do is make sure that your LED is open just a little bit. Then you line up the long lead and the aluminum conductor on the sticky side of a piece of electrical tape. Before you roll it, make sure that those two wires are touching. If they're not touching, then your circuit will not turn on. Once you know that the long lead and the aluminum conductor are touching, fold over your electrical tape and press to ensure that the two wires are staying connected. Then you can trim off the excess tape. You will do the same thing for your short lead and a short wire. You're going to make sure they touch, fold it over, press to ensure the connection is still there, then trim off the excess tape. During this next stage, you're going to attach your switch to your circuit. Open up the brad and fold one side. Then make sure the other side is nice and flat. Put the switch and the short aluminum wire on a piece of electrical tape, making sure they touch just like you did for the lead wires. After this step, you're going to fold over your electrical tape ensuring that they're still touching, and then trim off the excess. It is a good idea to check that your LED will light up and that your circuit is complete. Here I took the battery with the flat side, the positive side, touching the long wire. And I put the bumpy side, the negative side, on the other side touching the switch. Once you connect the circuit, your LED will light up. If your LED does not light up, that means there's a disconnect with your wires in this location, this location, or when you attached the switch. You need to troubleshoot if your LED does not turn on. The next step will be making sure your battery is attached to your circuit. The first thing you'll do is get a piece of electrical tape and make sure the sticky side is facing up. Then you will put your long aluminum wire right on the top. On top of the aluminum wire you will put the positive side, the flat side of your battery. You should see the bumpy side facing up for this step. Then you will place the last piece of wire on top of the negative side of the battery. You will cover up the battery and the wire with another piece of electrical tape and make sure it is very secure. Once you connect the small aluminum wire to the switch, your LED should light up and your circuit should be complete. What happens is that the electric charge comes from the negative side of the battery through the negative conductor into the switch, through the short LED wire, down through the long LED wire on the positive side, and back to the battery. The electrical current continues this way around and around to light up the LED. If the switch is opened, then the circuit is open and the LED will turn off. If you turn the switch back on and connect the circuit again, the LED will continue to light up and the electric current will continue to flow. Now it's your turn to create your circuit. 
Remember, if your LED is not lighting up, you need to think about where the disconnects could be. Troubleshoot to find where the problems are. Are the problems between the long lead and the long aluminum conductor? Is there a disconnect from the short lead and the short aluminum conductor? Maybe there's a problem with the switch. Always be sure to check how the battery is connected. Remember, don't get frustrated and don't give up. Keep trying to build your circuit.